thank you Santa for my new table saw and uh, right there those are gonna be the new laminated paddle shafts Alrighty, here's a little spot for you. I couldn't actually stop in mid-flow here, but uh, mixed up my G-Flex epoxy and uh, got the first two pieces laminated together. So there's a little shrine to the blue clamp right there. You get a chance to see the little taper that I cut on the front of there. And then I back off a little bit. You can kind of see the bend. So there's about a 12 or 13 degree bend in that paddle right there. There you go. That's what that uh, front part of the band looks like. Alrighty, that's just kind of where things start getting a little bit of interesting here. This uh, big block of woods here, this is sort of a mock-up of my handle, so it's not going to look big and nasty like that. But that's kind of the sandwich job I'm making right there. And so what I need to do with this next piece, is I'm going to just mortise that guy in just a little bit so that I have one more uh, good seam in there cemented into the handle. I'm kind of thinking this beauty right here, maybe on the front side up there. So uh, that's the last glue up going on there on the bent shaft paddle. Come look over here. This will be your paddle right here. This is the first stick of it right here. What do you think? It looks kind of small? Yeah. Not much going on? So what we're going to do next then is look right over here. You see these nice sharp little lines I made right there. There's some nice sharp little lines in there. Well, we're gonna saw those with our little back saw, and those will be the tapers that go on the first three sticks of your paddle, okay? Should I get busy? I need to call my old All right, go. All righty, this is just to show you how absolutely high tech this whole thing is. So those are going to be the blade pieces there. There's a couple of three inches and some little quarter inch strips inside to give it some detail and color and then that taper right there. So fashioning after this beautiful old Sawyer paddle, big voyageur, I've taken a high tech piece of layout equipment. Uh-huh, honey smacks. That's right. And then, just kind of traced something that's going to look like our new paddle on there. We'll saw that baby out, and it'll go right there on your new paddle. Ta-da! Alright, still some work to do on that. Standing by. So, got a rare moment here where I'm going to try and film a little bit and uh, do a little bit of this two-part epoxy adhesive for laminating these strips. Let's do a little update. So, these are the beginnings of the paddle blades laminated together. That one there is the bent shaft paddle. And this is just sort of a little makeshift jig that I did. There you go. And uh, those are the inside trim pieces being glued on there. And then behind it back there is the straight shaft, little dude's paddle. The interior trim pieces are a little bit bigger on that. And that had to be kind of situated to get those in the center there. All right. As you can see, I had to do some extraordinary hardcore radical clamping here. Yeah. Check that. 
Let's have a look at the little dude size paddle. Beautiful. Success so far. Okay, here's the setup. Got some glass laid out on the uh, power face of the bench shaft paddle. And then a little fiberglass cut to fit in nice and flat on the top or one of the faces of the little dude size paddle. Well, here we go. That's the first application of some fiberglass and nozzle on there. Hey, listen in the background. Kate. Train. Uh huh, that just happened. What I'm kind of trying to do is wait until I can put my finger on there, tap it, see a little fingerprint on there, but have no epoxy on my fingertip. So I'm just a little bit too quick on that. This is just yucky enough that I don't really even want my camera exposed to this nastiness. But here you go, just so you can see what's happening. Alrighty, here we go. First coat of spar varnish is on. I'm yelling over the sound of those little heaters I got to get the garage up to temperature. This is kind of the paint locker here now in the boathouse. Just about ready to call this one done here. This is the little dude's paddle. This one's the bench shaft paddle. And just a little light coat of linseed oil on that handle. And that's gonna make the the grip of that much more pleasant on your fingers rather than frictioning off of that varnish finish all day. Okay, that's a wrap. We'll call it done. Here's the bench shaft paddle and the little dude's paddle.